show you um, kind of the best slime, I think, and it's made okay. with something called polyvinyl alcohol. It's actually a liquid that you see here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a polymer, meaning it's a long chain of molecules. Go ahead and put your fingers down inside. Oh, no, not that. No, it's okay. It's, it's fine. Oh, it okay, is goopy, good. isn't it? See? Yeah, yeah. just a the, little. All right. So when you feel edge it like this, it. Yep, but it doesn't stick. Like you can't pick up the whole thing, no. right? No. Because these are long strains of molecules. So what we do is we add to this mixture right here, and you can do the same thing with like Elmer's glue and a little bit of water. We're using borax. So borax is a mm -hmm. soap and uh, those borax molecules link it together. So here, watch this. Get your hand down inside. I'm going to squirt this in there and now squeeze it around. Oh, uh, now you, can you got tell immediately? Slime. There you go. Now mix it in there. Isn't that great? Yeah. Oh yeah. You see, you just Good keep and playing slimy. and I'm going to show you that uh, this is a little easier to come up with and there's a little bit more connection than you could ever imagine. I'm going to, here, I'm going to reach underneath you like this. Got it? This okay. bag, because I know your hands are a little goopy. It's okay. Keep them there. You're yeah, just fine. Keep them keep there. Playing. Keep sliming. This bag here is actually this material, right? But it's in its clear form. This is a bag made out of polyvinyl alcohol. Uh -huh. They use these in a hospital setting when they want to put sheets or something in there that they don't want what? other people touching. They will close this up and literally just put it in water. And so watch what happens. I'm going to use this in a Ziploc bag and uh, I'm going to reach just around you like this and okay. grab this. I didn't expect that I'd make your hands that dirty all the time. <laughs> Look at this. This is just water that goes down inside like this. And this bag literally dissolves. dissolves. In the water. So if you can get your hand on one of the bags, for example, maybe a nurse or a hospital, something like that, this bag dissolves. So they literally just throw the bag in the uh, wash machine and it dissolves, washes out, and nobody had to touch the sheets. So when we're learning, we always so try important. to connect something like this to something that may be a, a little bit more meaningful for uh, for kids yeah. or something that they'll remember. Doesn't that look great? Look at this. I've got a nice mix in for slime. you. So watch this. This is great because you mix anything you want to into your slime. So here's the liquid. And there's those little dots. So here, put your hand in that okay. one. That's better. I'll bring the green Got in. Got it. And now you can have some sprinkles because that always looks oh, good. Oh, now you, that. See, now your hands are going to be permanently dyed like that. But again, it oh, doesn't no happen. no worries on that. No, no problem. <laughs> now you just kind of put in that borax, mix it around here again. It looks and like feel sprinkles on ice cream. Isn't that great? Uh, are you kidding? The kids will never be bored in the summertime. No. If they're making something ooey and gooey, gooey and goopy and whatever. And moms and dads, as I look right into the camera and I tell you this, it's okay if it's messy. Right? Sometimes Messy we always go, oh, I'm not going to do in the mess, but you know what? Come on. They're only little for You're a period memories. of time. So, absolutely. You mm -hmm. always want the kid to go, you remember the time that we ruined the kitchen making slime?